Hi everyone, welcome to Don't Take a Gaming Channel. Let's start King's Bounties from the continuation of the last time. Here we go. So continue. My friend and I have found a so windy thing. port. Hang on a second. You're my assistant. Stop getting ahead of me. But why aren't you? Okay. Ah, Kimmy. Hatasin's boots. Safari. Okay. Legendary Animal Okay Ah, okay Yes Hanaki King's Armor King, then, no Knight Armor One Two Three, four. Okay. Ah, vale. Roll of cotton. Ah, yes. Before that, find the challenge. Didion has gone completely bonkaroos. Yesterday he was talking about singing fish. Said he listened to them in the evening. He needs some drops. What? Huh? Medicinal drops. You know, the ones that cure diseases. Are there any drops against idiocy? Of course. Our neighbor makes them. Well, she's not quite all there either. They're as alike as two eggs, those two. Yes. So you, Janet. Are you Jeanette? Yeah, so? Mr. Kramer from the Upper Settlement is waiting for his grain. The delivery is taking too long, he says. Oh, come now. How am I supposed to know where his grain is? I mean, I do receive goods, register them, and put the entry in the log. But I don't remember any grain arriving. None at all. I hate to insist, but I was instructed to ask you personally. Perhaps you could try and remember something about the grain? Ugh, I don't know. The ship hasn't arrived yet. The weather's been poor. Gromis said storms were approaching from the east, making navigation... Ugh, Kramer will simply have to wait. Now kindly leave me alone. Why are you so nervous? I'm just asking, that's all. Okay, say they did. I say they did. Ah. Uh. When I confronted Janet about the missing grain, she was unable to give me a reasonable answer. Perhaps I'll have better luck speaking to one of the port residents like Dominic. Okay. So. Old Didion has gone completely bonkers. Yesterday he was talking about... Dominic's a coward. He's probably gonna lose his shop anyway. Oh. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. Dominic. Has something upset you again? Misery is the hallmark of these times. Those darn mice are the worst. Has something else upset you? Rick's deathly afraid of mice. They spread disease, you know. One such pesky creature might have come here all the way from the mage factory. George used to catch them, but now... Where's brave George now? He got poisoned, poor thing. Someone must have been exterminating mice. George caught a poisoned one, unchoked. Except the number of mice isn't getting any lower. Guess those cunning rodents have a nice food stash somewhere or other. Grain is any mouse's favorite food. And all the grain in the port has vanished. Coincidence? Okay. So? Dominic? is complaining about the recent outbreak of rapidly breeding mice at Windy Port. Moreover, when someone deployed poison against the rodents, George the cat that 
pot only defend from the infestation, choked on a poisoned mouth and died. Nostoria mice find grain the most delicious treat, which means Kramer's missing order is hiding somewhere and is definitely not being stored in proper conditions. Okay, find evidence of the shady grain here. Yes. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. And Fisher tamed the blasted thing. Dominic's a coward. He's probably gonna lose his shot. Okay, screw. Hey there, you kept asking if I know of a way to earn some money, right? Listen then. Mr. Damien is looking for volunteers for an important task. Don't ask me what. I only know he's promising a hefty sum as payment. And don't throw this letter away. I know you. Go to Damien. Try your luck and stop winning. Your friend from the major factory said yes. Eddie. Uh -huh. Okay, green. It's rotten. So much wasted grain. Okay. Uh -huh. Are they trying to breed mice here? I can hear squeaking from under the floorboards. Okay. Who left this grain to rot like this? Okay. Some cash. Cash iron pan gold, regular ransom. Okay. Cash. Cat toy. So. Okay. A bit more experience I want to, to um. So talk to Janet, okay? I was right. The bags of grain were tucked away in various nooks and crevices around the village. They've all been nibbled by mice and the grain itself has rotted. I wonder who did it and why. I need to talk to Janet. Okay. Hey, Janet. I found the sacks of grain, Jeanette. How come it was used to feed mice? What's going on in this windy port of yours? By the elements. I told that damnable fisher to cover his tracks. Oh! I promise I'll do you no harm if you tell me why the grain was handled in such a careless manner. I picked up the grain from the ship and paid the captain. On the same evening, I received a letter. A blackmail letter. The anonymous author demanded I call off the grain deal and threatened to kill me if I didn't. He wrote that the grain had been ordered for Cedric's gang. He told me to come to the shore where the boats are left to dry and... I got scared. Show me the letter, please. Here. Take it. You'll protect me, right? I'm frightened. Okay. Anonymous letter. Okay. Janet admitted she disrupted the grain delivery because of blackmail. An anonymous letter threatened her with death if she sent the grain out for delivery. Aside from this, the author demanded that Janet meet him by the shore at Windy Port. I should head down to the shore and search for the mysterious black mirror tracks. Okay, aside from this, the author demanded that Janet meet him by the shore at Windy Port. Find the black mirror tracks. Okay. So. Old Didion has gone completely bonkers. Yesterday he was talking about... Oh. Scroll. Esteemed K. Thorn, I dare say that I've discovered a special number. The largest known number. It records the amount of variations to determine the upper solution to my theorem. But it can't be written down. 
I've asked the major tower administration to open a special dimension for this purpose, but they refused, citing the lack of proof for the number. How can I prove it exists if I can't write it down? I can only say it ends in 95389. Do note, I've managed to read the upper solutions right here in my own home. You have influence with these fuzzy daddies. Please let me have an extra dimension for my work. Magistrate Tantras. Okay. Yeah, our brave Rick says those pesky massive and green white rabbits like So Purpose I dare. Oops. The story of Vicar the Dwarf, God's of Rock the Virago, and Yurajun Stone Part 2. Vicar walked for 20 days and 20 nights before he reached the frozen forest. By the time he did, winter was well underway. The Yurajun Stone stood out like a beacon from the snow. It radiated truly incredible power. Many wild footprints circled the stone in the snow. This made him suspicious, for no decent dwarf would traipse around barefoot in winter. And Vicar was right. The footprint belonged to berserkers, fierce warriors who felt neither cold nor hunger, and who wore only a loincloth even in winter. As soon as Vicar approached the Yoradun, three berserkers attacked him. However, Vikar, sword in one hand and battle axe in the other, showed them exactly why the royal dwarves are called invincible. He defeated the berserkers handily and tied all three together with a hunter's rope. Do what you want with us, but don't take the Yoradun from us, for it is the only source of our life and power cried the berserkers. You fought bravely, so I shall do what you ask. I will only take a small fragment of the stone, promised the vicar. He felt very relieved by the berserkers' words. He obviously wasn't planning to haul the whole Yordan stone home with him. Okay. So, three. Ah. Ah, ancient rules. Ah. Ancient rules. Griffon. Ma mercenary, okay. Morel plus two. Room right from it. Okay. Ah. Oh.
Mr. Dominic the merchant said you lost your shop to bandits. I'm so sorry. Troubles? Yes. His fortunes never come alone. First it was my cat George passing away, and now it's my turn. I invested what little gold I had in Dominic's shop and lost it all. That cursed bandit Fisher took everything from me. This Fisher sounds like an extremely nasty person. I want him to leave honest folk alone. But everyone's afraid of him. The Artisanians might be able to drive him off, but they don't care a whiff about us. And me? Oh, I'm not a fighter. Listen. I know something that might come in handy in this situation. A long time ago, Father and I hid a chest in a grotto. It's not far from here. That chest is full of valuables as well as... something else. A vessel of sorts, full of ice spirits. Just in case, you know. My father got it from his father. I'd go fetch it myself. But the grotto is inhabited by trolls now. No way us locals can go anywhere near. Thanks for telling me, Rake. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Crash out there. Okay. Dominic advised me to speak to Rick, the shop's clerk. Should I attack fish at once or take my time and prepare? Rick told me a grotto where he stashed some valuable items. Unfortunately, this same location is now reputed to be a troll den. He wants me to retrieve his items for him. Among other things, I should look for a vessel with captive spirit inside. These entities might come in handy in fa the fight with Fisher. Okay. So, hold that. Mm. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. And Fisher takes. Strong enemy. Ah. Yes.
해서 
burning fire burning ability okay so burning. Wait. Battle. Great, very great victory. So This heavenly song, dear target Okay, so okay, nice. While I wait for the boat on this cold shore, I want to write down everything I think about this scoundrel Cedric. He tricked us all. I thought, everyone thought, we were being assembled into a regular unit, that we would be hunting bandits and earning a good salary. Ha! Turns out Cedric was gathering his own band, so he could rob traders under cover of his noble goals. I wouldn't put up with it. I had two other honorable lads on my side as well. We caught Cedric and had a serious talk with him. He insisted he pay us our wage and promised to leave the band afterwards. We made arrangement with the windy boat fisherman to ferry us far away from this place. We had Cedric alone then, and scared. He promised to pay. The next day, my associates were gone. How could I be so naive? I barely managed to escape. The wind blows fiercely here. That it's called windy pot is no coincidence. The fisherman is late. On my way here, I disrupted a shipment of grain for Cedric. I like to think of him starving, a fitting fate for a mad dog. I stole one sack of grain. The bread I cooked up tasted funny, but I've eaten worse. As soon as I get to safety, I'll tell everyone about Cedric's dirty deeds. Oh, creator, why must it be so cold? Okay. So? His farewell letter and the letter to Janet have the same handwriting. He probably wasn't intending to kill anyone, but he did accomplish his goal. Cedric's grain was indeed left to rot in Windy Boat. I should ask Kramer for more details about this shady deal and the poisoned man on the shore. Tell Kramer the grain delivery is linked to Cedric's gang. Okay. So. Ah, leaderships. Very great. Ah, okay. Stone skin. Oh. 
Okay. What this? Okay. Okay. Wasn't too bad. I just hope the cache hasn't been looted. Ah, quiet noon. Get out painting. Ah, okay. So Okay. Oh. the rock. Find the picture on the shore. Okay. On the cliff above the windy boat shore lives an artist or a legion. One of his paintings was swept away by the wind and landed somewhere below. He would like his canvas return. I found the painting. Sub surprisingly, it wasn't damaged by the rocks, the wind, or the waves. I should return it to its owner. Okay. Rick's cash. Trolls wouldn't be able to loot it. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Triangle circle. Triangle circle square. Spirit vessel, rigs variable, summoner's element, spin, take off, crash at the wind. Okay. Okay. I retrieve the rigs variables and the spirit vessel. As for the trolls, it seems they were nothing but a rumor the whole time. Okay. Barret, spinner, bearpot, gold, knives. Take gold. Chest, gold, yellow pulse, chest, aquamarine, gold, Lorien belt. Okay. Leather color, leather span, ah. Lorien's belt. Ah, okay. On, okay. So, okay. Okay.
Ah, valid. Small cup packet of gold. Okay. So, it's a good thing your painting didn't end up in the sea. I can't swim. I'm ever so grateful. To me, my paintings are like children. I can't bear to lose them. They're the most precious thing I have. Your paintings are just like family, aren't they? That means you'll never be alone. Besides, I'm going to have an exhibition soon. In Marcella's city park, no less. Okay. Aurelian was delighted to get his painting back. The artist was tortured by the thought of an unfinished canvas. Though what needs to be added is a mystery to me. He told me I could find his painting all over the nostril. I can collect them if I like. I found your grain, Kramer. Who did you order it for? Huh? I I'm under no obligation to share the names of my clients. But you are. Was it you who poisoned the man on the shore? Oh, no. Please, d don't turn me into the artisanians. It, it wasn't my fault. It was Damien's man, Bloom. He ordered me to do it. it. It was all him. Bloom ordered poisoned grain for both Damien and Cedric. He's waiting for me at the crypts across from the Artisanian delegation. So, our Artisanian friend is part of this as well. What a snake pit you have here. Okay. Tell Bloom about Cedric and the scattered deer. Address a sensitive matter with Dami. Okay. It turns out that Bloom, one of Damien's men, asked Kramer to order the grain. What even more surprising, the grain was poisoned. Bloom had planned to poison Damien and all his men, including the infamous Cedric. All that's left is to inform Bloom that Cedric is long since dead and that, in an ironic twist of fate, Bloom's plan was disrupted by someone who hated the bandits as much as he did, while well, I could report to Damien to turn in Bloom. The traitor, what to do?
Tyrus books. Book from the boiling cold. Seems Kramer ratted me out after all. What now? Will will you bring me to Artisania for execution or or do it right here? I have nothing to do with the Artisanians. On the contrary, I put down their rabid dog Cedric. <sighs> then the world's free of one more scumbag. That scoundrel Damien's running multiple gangs to keep everyone under his heel. Care to explain why you needed poisoned grain, Blum? I'm Damien's errand boy. I bring food to his cutthroats. It's lemon drops here, raspberry juice there. You have no idea the awful things I've seen. Damien's been feeding an army of ghouls, not humans. That's who I intended to poison with the bread. But the grain never arrived. I swear I'll burn down Kramer's house and goods as promised. He'll pay dearly for betraying me. Wait, you shouldn't punish Kramer for this. It's not his fault the grain never arrived. Your deal was disrupted by another. <sighs> Always gotta break your back when old Ulogi's on your track. It's time to run for the hills then. Who knows who Kramer will blab to next. As for you, take this gold. I set it aside to pay for the grain, but since you've done away with Cedric yourself, it's only fair the gold should be yours. Hey. Okay. Acquired experience points. Ah, so a shady deal. Okay. What to do? Okay. Tell room about Cedric the scatter deal. Okay. Amulet of Black. There was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. And Fisher. Dominic's a coward. He's probably gonna lose his shop. Anyway.
my friend and I have found a prime little thing. Brave Rick says those pesky mice have been breeding like rabbits. But... Dominic's a coward. He's probably gonna lose his shop anyway. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. Let's stop the game here because it's a good break. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like it, please press the good button. Comments are also welcome. We will continue to post videos every day. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Good luck to you today. See you in the next video. Goodbye.